So let's go and take a look at this example. All right, so now again, we're trying to prove, right, ladies and gentlemen? So in looking at trying to create a proof, again, what we're going to have to do is create a two column. So we'll call this a statement. And here we have a reason. Right? So again, the best thing that we want to do when we're creating our proofs is write down our statements that were provided, the statements that we are given. And they tell us that a measure of angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary. Oh, I'm sorry, not that's given. Wait, does they have? Okay, it says angle one and angle two are supplementary. That's given, sorry. Took the information, that's what is given to us, right? So if they are supplementary, then we can say that um, measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals 180. Yes, if they said they're supplementary, then we know that they are going to be um, equal to the 180. And the reason being is measure of angle 1 and angle 2, is that what they had? Yeah. Are what? What kind of angles are? Measure of angle one and measure of angle two. Consecutive interior. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what does, if you have consecutive interior angles adding up to 180, what does that tell you about the lines? Yes? They, um, well, they're going to create the linear pair. But what does that tell you about the parallel lines, L and M? If you have a consecutive interior angles, what does that tell you about lines that, that make up their, the, their parallel? Right? So therefore, now you can say that they're proof that L is parallel to M because it's the converse of consecutive interior angles. Guys, how can we prove angles are parallel? Right? It says prove L is, L is parallel to M. We can only prove they're parallel if they are congruent. That means I'm not congruent, I'm sorry. We have uh, the parallel lines written in them. I tell you they're parallel. or if you have alternate interior angles that are equal in value, if you have alternate exterior angles that are equal in value, or if you have consecutive interior angles that add up to 180, you can prove lines are going to be parallel. All right? And that's it. That was a much quicker proof, right? <laughs>